Hey guys, so um, I glued the wig down and I think I might be allergic to the glue because look, I don't know if it's the glue or it's just the irritation from it being that one spot and then this is where the closure ends and the end of the closure meets like the cap but I feel like now in the light you can see a line going across and this is the bold hold and I have used the ghost bond before and it has never done anything to me but this one I think I might be allergic to I don't know this is crazy so guys I had to take my hair down last night because I thought I was having what at the time seemed like an allergic reaction to the glue that I had used. Normally, I used to use a different method. I used to just freeze and spray the wig on and take it off at night. But I'm just like, let me just try something different and stick it on and keep it on for a while. Knowing good and well how my body operates. And apparently, my body has just been rejecting it. It does not like that. But um, I was expressing last night that this is also the very same spot that the closure meets the wig cap itself and that's a little bit thick so i don't know if it looks like that because that part is like thick and bulky and it's just resting on there i do not know but all i know is i'm afraid of this glue because initially when i took it off it just looked like this whole section um was breaking out so i took my hair out and i put it up because um, a wig is not gonna kill me <laughs> so when I come home I'm gonna work on the wig I'm going to try and get the glue off of it and oh since I'm explaining it I also have somewhere to be this is what I'm explaining if it would just focus my god this part right here these ends like where the closure meets the cap itself they are a little bit bulky this part was fine, but this is the part that has the little marks and stuff. So now because it was glued down, it's like out of there, on there. Because this other part on my face looks perfectly fine. It's just this side piece right here that has... So I'm not really sure what the deal is, but I took the wig off and I'm going to work on getting the glue off later on when I come home. And um, yeah. So that was that. I had a different wig that I could have worn this morning, but I wasn't really in the mood. And I just felt like what it needs more than anything right now is to just, um, you know, breathe for a little bit and, like, get that out. And I normally wear the wigs for a while anyway. So the first week, I had the crochet braids in, and then I took it out, and I was wearing the other wig, and then I made this wig. So... It's been three weeks, so I like to do something for a while and then give my hair a little um, break. So I guess that enforced the break, but either ways, we got there. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm about to leave out because I have to Uber to this lady to drop off some money for someone and then go where I need to be. So in order to do all that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to Uber and add a stop. So I'm going to add the stop where I need to drop off the money and then go about my business. Hopefully that's not too much money on this glorious Sunday morning because I am honestly just not in the mood to spend a lot of money this morning. And I haven't Ubered in a while too because I've low-key been afraid of being captured. <laughs> so it is not even funny, but I've been so afraid. I was watching a video the other day and the girl was saying, you know, she's glad that awareness has been brought to it right now, but it's not something that has just been happening, which I know, but it's like to see so many cases right now, it makes you so afraid. Anyways, I'm going to go. So I just decided that a little bit of brows won't hurt nobody. It's been a while since I've actually done my brows, but I feel like considering the fact that my hair is all the way up and my whole face is showing, I could do something to my face. And I'm going to put a bit of mascara on so that my face don't look as naked. And then I think right after that, I'm going to leave. It's 9.06 right now. And <coughs> based on what Uber is saying, it's saying I'll get to like the final destination at like 
9.24, which means I still have a little bit of time to play with, so I don't have to leave right at this second. So, I'm going to put some mascara on and do a few other little things, and then, of course, I think I will leave. I'm trying to see what I have to do. I already have um, food. Oh, I have some snacks that I need to put inside of my pocketbook, but, um, yeah. So guys, I'm waiting on a lift and I'm afraid as crap because <laughs> I'm honestly so afraid. And it's so sad that, you know, is that him? I don't know, let's see. I'm mad as hell right now because the goddamn lift played me. I don't know if it's that lift has not mastered the art of adding a stop and still processing the rest of the information because I've done it with Uber before and it worked seamlessly but that shit was not working it completely bypassed the stop that I added and was going towards the final destination which I feel like is so goddamn wild and they still charged me for adding the stop so I'm gonna call them later and I'm about to be so mad because I'm already so mad because when I'm late right now so not only am I late, but y'all just charged me $21 to not even take me two places. No, somebody owes me and I'm going to need the money back. So I obviously can't call them right now because like I said, I'm late. So I don't have enough time to like call them to fix all that. And then no. So later on, as soon as I leave, I'm going to call. And it's a good thing I had taken like a screenshot of the of the page with all the information initially and I took one before the ride ended to show that the app was showing was not showing the two stops it was just showing whatever the hell it wanted to show I'm dumb tight right now I mean I'm not gonna be late by a lot but still I'm gonna be late and it's not even for my own business you know now I just feel like I I never normally like when people ask me to do things Especially if it's taking me out of my way, which this is. And it's also costing me $30 on top of taking me out of my way. So just imagine how tight I am right now. <sighs> Anyways, can't complain about the things that you can't change, at least not at this present moment. Because right now I can't change it, but later on we got to talk about my money. Guys, let me tell you how... Um because I'm not a confrontational person, that is sometimes a blessing and a curse. So this morning, you know, I was sitting down and I was thinking about it and I'm just like, damn, I really feel like anything that takes me out of my way makes me so mad. So I didn't want to have to go through the process of calling Lyft and I just felt like they weren't going to give me my money back and whatever. So I went on the app and I saw that I wasn't even going to get to call somebody and I don't like this emailing shit. I want to talk to an actual person sometimes. However send them an email and I explained exactly what was happening with me so somebody responded and they said thank you for letting us know about your ride experience with driver whatever the driver's name is I understand that the driver was taking you to your final destination without taking you to the stop that you added I apologize for the inconvenience caused with you for the inconvenience caused you with this ride I apologize for the inconvenience cause you with this ride okay whatever <laughs> having me out here sounded crazy don't worry i'll help you with this upon receiving your ride and see that you were charged i guess she was trying to say seeing i do not know man i'm i'm seeing that you were charged the 25 33 we quoted you but since you didn't make it to your destination i recalculated the ride and refunded you the 1529 difference this may take five to seven business day to pretty much come back in my account which i'm kind of grateful for because i feel like um yes i want to pay ten dollars to go to that little stop right there because initially it was telling me nine something so i'm comfortable with that you know what i mean as opposed to paying 20 something dollars for the whole thing and then still having to pay an additional 12 dollars to go where i wanted to go initially with the ride you know so i'm very satisfied that um somebody figured it out because I was very upset too because I thought they weren't going to be able to figure it out especially 
um, after I had to, when I saw that it was taking me to the final destination as opposed to the stop that I had added first, you know, I had to go in and edit the ride and put the stop as the final destination and just decided from there that, listen, I have to go to this stop because I have something that I need to drop off. So I'm going to just let him take me here and say fuck it and then just get an Uber to go where I'm going. What's funny is this is something that I've done before and it worked, you know, but you know, sometimes it pays to just not be cheap because honestly, normally when I'm going anywhere, I'll put it in Uber and I'll put it in Lyft too to see which one comes up a little bit cheaper. Sometimes Lyft is OD cheaper and sometimes Uber is OD cheaper. That morning, Lyft was a dollar cheaper. I could, no, it was $2 cheaper actually. Or three. Because um, Uber was saying $23 and Lyft was saying $20. So I'm like, all right, let me just take the $20 and save the three. Because this is not even my business anyways. And I'm just doing somebody a favor. And then that happened. But I'm really happy that, you know, I was able to get it resolved. I'm very comfortable. Um, love good customer service. So, um, yeah. Yeah.